Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today is going to be another clothing haul and we are going back to, I'm not sure if I've actually done this haul before and considering I know you shop on there so much. We are doing a pretty little thing haul. Like I say, I shop on there like literally all the time. If I need something, anything, I just always go on there first. However, think about it now. I don't think I've actually ever done a pretty little thing haul on my channel. No, I don't think I have. So yeah, this might be my first pretty little thing haul on my channel, considering I shop on there all the time. It's my favourite spring outfit. It's basically what I've put together. Different outfit, all spring slash summer, I'd say, um, worthy. Some are from Pinterest, kind of inspiration, some on my own. Um, so if you're interested to get some spring slash summer inspiration, um, all Pretty Little Thing based, if whatever you like from this video, you can go and shop on Pretty Little Things. So I've kept it simple. So yeah, if you're interested in sorting out your spring slash summer wardrobe, just carry on watching. I am not probably the best presented today, and um, like, how a look isn't the most I think I've just I think I've just actually did the shortest intro on my channel ever. Like I kept that so short and sweet, but it's literally because I'm dripping of sweat. It's not even hot outside, like it's literally eight degrees, probably about five degrees outside. I actually got so nervous switching on the camera. No one is at home right now. Everyone's gone out and doing their own thing for the day and it's just me, the camera and the ring light, and I'm sweating, dripping. What the hell is gonna happen? when normality comes back. I have all these plans which involve big crowds and I can't even deal with me and my camera in the same room. I always say I'm going to try and keep clothing holes short and sweet. However, I just rumble on. Like, I always say I'm going to try and keep it short and then I talk for about 40 minutes. I just want to show you my kind of twist on how I like to style things and as we're going into another season, spring, then it's summer, which I'm so happy about, um, it just makes me happy putting on not a jumper. It's like, because I feel like when it's winter, yes, you can like add colour, but you just always go back to black and white. Like, it just happens. Wait, I've got the first piece on here, and I'll leave all the clothing information on the screen rather than me going back and forth to my phone. I'm probably giving you the wrong information anyway. So this is the first piece. It's actually a bodysuit, and yeah, it's a white um, polo bodysuit. I think that's what it's called. I don't actually know the description of any of the clothes wear. I don't have a clue how to describe clothes. I just don't. If I see it and I like it, that's about it. I don't actually know how to describe clothes, so just bear with me. Quite a thick material, so even though like spring isn't summer, obviously, it's not like the hottest kind of temperatures. It isn't the highest temperature, so you could do with a little coverage on the arms and things, just a bit of warmth, but nothing too like thick and wrapped up and the sleeves here are thicker than the actual arms and then we have the collar situation going on here i did think this could button up but it's actually just open so um i would actually help if it did have buttons and if you did choose to have it open you could but um yeah i wasn't quite sure on that i think i would prefer having it a bit closed out or just like one and having it a bit open on the top but anyways it's open we don't really have a choice there it's more flutter in than a scooped all round neck i just kind of like a bit of i don't know i feel a bit important like do you know what i mean like collar so then I paired it with a pair of shorts. I don't actually know. I swear it did say these are mom, mom. <laughs> I just say mom jeans because mom jeans doesn't sound right. You have to say mom jeans. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not American. I'm not trying to be American, but it just sounds wrong if I say mom jeans. Anyways, these are cycling shorts, mom, mom, whatever you call kind of style. Um, but yeah, I ordered them. I expect them to be like not fitted. As you can tell, they're fitted. And yeah, maybe it's because um, I'm not the leanest, I'm not the slimmest at the moment, but I didn't expect them to be this tight. But the back is baggy, so like it sits away from the back and it's tight on the bum. So yeah, it's just one of those girl situations where it's tight on the thighs, the bum, everywhere, but the waist. And I'm not trying to say I'm the, the whole TikTok sound of small waist with a big no. Because that the situation isn't going on right now. But this is the fit of the shorts. But I kind of still like the style of it. And I do still like this outfit. And I would pair this outfit with some sort of white trainers. And maybe like kind of like high socks. So like Converse, Jordans, um, Nike Air Forces. Anything like that. Kind of like high top um, trainers. But side, front. And yeah, they are really comfy. The material is really, really good. But... I could probably do this. I don't know. I couldn't really size up because it would be too far too big on the waist. 
but it'd probably be the right size everywhere else but like i said i'll leave all sizes and things on screen but anyway this is outfit number one right so next outfit is a bit more out there a bit more going on and yeah i didn't really have to put much thought into this outfit because as soon as i saw it and i kind of like what i was looking for the kind of style the print so as you can see the style on the print is is it gingham so how do you say it gingham gingham Gingham. I don't know. I was looking for pants first of all of the, the style, the print, and then I came across this set and I will show you the bottom in a moment and I was just like I definitely need to try this. Like I feel like this is just gonna kind of switch the game up and change my life. We have a top here which isn't involved. I just needed to, I just wanted to match a top which would just blend in, easy kind of pair with and just something I would throw on easy enough of it. I probably would also wear like a bralette or something as well like that. First of all we have a blazer situation going on and a collar collar blazer first of all to go here and the material is really light it's too heavy it's just really light and it just feels easy to throw over like i said it's spring so you don't want something really hot and like thick material putting on you just want it something light something to cover you if it is a bit of a breeze outside it's a lighter blazer it doesn't have any shoulder pads or anything it's just more of a jacket than like a kind of formal blazer so it's kind of long i will have to show you the pants so you can see the full length of the blazer and the whole situation going on and i really, really like this outfit so are you ready for it this is the full outfit i know you can't see the bottom of the pants yet but i will pan it down so you can see the full layout but yeah like i said the blazer is quite long and um, it does cover bum at the back so anyone that feels a bit conscious of wearing pants like these or even if you just want to just have the blazer and the pants separate and you weren't very comfortable with showing like your bum at the back then i know a lot of people are like that so it's good to cover that while having something quirky and quite out there this would also look nice this blazer of like just plain black jeans and heels but i mean we have to enjoy the moment with the coward at the minute because i absolutely love cowards and i love these pants like i absolutely love flares and this style this print like together it just screams out so many amazing positive vibes and they are not see-through at all considering it is white and black checked kind of gingo you cannot see any underwear going on at the back and i do have quite bright underwear at the moment so and you can't see well i say that i do hope you can't see really comfortable good material i'm not very good with explaining materials and all that jazz but yeah if you do want to wear them separate let me just give you a little insight so yeah this is the pants on their own and you can tell it just with a plain top it just looks so much going on and with some black heels i imagine with these or even in the day some converse high top converse or anything like that or black and white jordans would look nice yeah that would look very nice i really like these and i think these would even look nice and healthy even in summer if you just wanted to wear like a bralette or a crop top like this they are so like lightweight and just so comfy like they're just really breathable and i would be able to sit down and have a good meal in these because they're stretchy as well so yeah i really really like this outfit i absolutely love this style at the moment i did see it on a pinterest i don't know who was wearing it but i just saw a pinterest of someone in gingham pants and i was like i need some of them in my life i ended up with a full coward and i actually love them but i'll just show you the length of the pants altogether. the pants are quite long and i don't think these are like tall or anything and i am five four seven and a half nearly eight and yeah they are quite long so if you wore heels they would still touch the floor but i mean yeah and my toenails are quite disgusting at the moment so i'm not gonna show you too much but i really really like this outfit and i do know i'd definitely wear this on a night out a day out the races anything like that i just feel like it suits all occasions you know what i mean i up hair down yeah i should have addressed my hair a bit sooner sooner rather than later but i haven't brushed my hair today but i can go for the messy bun vibe um but now i've told you i haven't brushed my hair you're probably all really hating on me for the messy bun you go shop and print the thing right now and get this cow on Oh my god. I think I just found, I think, I think I've just witnessed, I think I am literally capturing, I think I'm literally capturing me find my best ever top. The best top to ever exist and live. No, I'm not joking. This isn't even an exaggeration. This isn't me being over dramatic or anything as the sort. This is facts. This is real moments captured on film on youtube so this is the piece i am on about this top doesn't even do it justice on the website look just look at this top like wow i feel like a strictly come dancing dancer 
I feel like I am meant for the theatres. I feel like a Victoria's Secret model. A million dollars! Like, you love this top. Some people will be probably looking at this and thinking, what the hell are you wearing? But if you are, you're wrong. Because you should be thinking, wow. You should be thinking, wow, that is the most perfect, amazing top I've ever seen too. Because it really is. And I was putting it on and I was literally new Jake. I was literally like this putting it on. I'm thinking, this isn't going to end well. I'm going to look so stupid in this. I, I'm not going to want to show it on camera. Here we are. And wow, I was literally, it took about five minutes staring at myself in the mirror before filming this clip. This top, this is, anyway, I should probably shut up and show you the outfit and the whole idea I'm going for. And the pants, you probably have seen about a million times on this channel. Um, they're not part of the haul, well they are part of the haul because they're in this video. But they're not a pretty little thing, the jeans are actually from Zara. Um, I've actually put the jeans over a bit so I've tucked it in a little bit. It's not really tucked because it does just fit where the jeans start. A button corset um, thing going on here. And then the ruffles are the main the main thing. Arms are kind of like baggy, um, which I love. Like I do love fitted arms, but I kind of love this whole thing that's going on here. Never saw a top like this, and this is my new style of tops for the foreseeable future. And the whole um across the top and the shoulders and the back is also ruffled. Um and wow, I absolutely love this top. I usually I always go on about how I hate the top of my body here. But I don't even care about it anymore and I'll put this top on. Like, I love that part of my body and I'll put this top on. I have paired it with these jeans. And I thought I'd just put white with it because I have showed you denim in this video already. So I wanted to go for a different colour. And yeah, a lot of people do bring out the white jeans in the summer and spring. So I thought it would go nicely and really love a pink and white moment. Pink kind of sandals that matches this colour, which might be a bit tricky too. Oh, some gold sandals would really look nice with this outfit. I just want to say that. I kind of feel like someone out like Downton Abbey with this top on. I feel like I should be holding kind of like a tea or something. You shop online and you go down the categories and you press on a nice top of jeans. This is exactly what I'm visioning. This is the nice top with all the jeans in the world, all the shorts, all the skirts, everything. This top is a game changer. Into so much detail just about top. Guys, pause the video, go shop and print all the thing, get this top, then come back and watch the rest of the video. Thank you later. Next piece is our first dress in this haul. It's more of a day dress rather than a night dress, but I love the pattern. Like what you're seeing right now, I absolutely love it. And this pattern, this whole dress situation I'll show you what I've seen her in, just reminds me of film fashion. Like the notebook, that, that kind of situation. I'm literally ready for Prince Charming to take me on a picnic right now. This is really main character moment in a movie and I feel like that's what spring is to me. I watch so many films to a point where I like create an unrealistic life for me and then I wake up after watching the film and I'm like, oh, I am not actually living in Mamma Mia anymore. Spring just... You're living in a movie moment, so let me show you what's going on here. This is a like frock dress, and it's got like a red floral kind of print going on here. Has every item I've worn in this video had a collar? Oh no, the last top didn't. But I really love collars. Like I feel like it because it hides that situation of my neck area that I don't like. Like loose material, very airy. It does cover your uh, arms, so it's it has a bit of like warmth in it with it covering your arms. But like I said, have a little spring breeze, so your arms are covered. And I don't know if you can see, but there's buttons all the way down that obviously put the dress together. As the dress goes down, there's different layers of um, like frills going on, but I'll lower the camera so you can see now. And the wrists, so it snatches your wrists, but the arm's very loose. And this reminds me like a bingo wing dress. And it's not like the longest, longest dress, but it's just the perfect length for a day dress or even night dress. I would wear this for night 100% with some heels. I always say heels for night. You don't actually have to wear heels at night time. I just feel like... From day to night, that's what you do. The ruffles all the way down the dress. The waist is snatched, which I really like, so you don't have to add a belt or anything like that. There's frills all the way down on the dress, which I really like. And it's just very spring, summery type. And I just feel like I'm be running through a field, picking my strawberries with my picnic basket. And I'd be getting paparazzi, getting all shots of me. So when I say paparazzi, I literally mean my sister. But yeah, this is a full view of the dress. I'm not sure how I can go into more detail explaining about this dress. But it's just what you see is what you get. And I really like this. With some sandals, some trainers, anything would go with this. And a little picnic bag, like I said. This would be the perfect ideal picnic outfit. Or a night outfit. A meal outfit. This would solve all occasions in your spring season. I always get my motivation and inspiration at about 12 o'clock at night when I am watching a film. But that's just the way it is. A kind of notebook inspired moment. Yeah, so let me just get to talk about it. So... 
as again, we have another coloured situation going on. I absolutely love it. These are my favourite, one of my favourite, I've said this again. I absolutely love these tops. I think they are so flattering. I think they're really, really cute. And I just, I feel like an American schoolgirl when I wear these. But I do. And I actually really like it. The top, it is, is it rimmed? Is that how you say it? Rimmed? Rimmed? Ribbed? I don't know. Anyway, it's got like lines all the way down the top. Has got a collar. Has got the three cute little buttons. And kind of like cropped sleeves. And obviously it's a cropped top. The back is just nice, cute all the way round. Simple. And let's talk about the colour. The colour. Did not think blue suited me at all. I think I've spoke about this before. I just think it kind of clashes with me. But on this top, this occasion, we're going to live for it. And... Why have I just blanked out on my own video? I just thought, I was just thinking, I was just staring at myself, does it pick up the colour blue in my eyes? I think it is. Can't normally think it is. Because I think it is. Okay, it is. Because my hair colour is so odd and just like, it's not blonde, it's not brown, I don't actually know what my hair colour is. Anyway, what have I paired it with? What I paired it with is a fantastic idea. My first skirt, and yes, you might be thinking, what on earth are you wearing? I did think that at first, but... I think it's so cute. I didn't know if it was that flattering to begin with. And it doesn't make me look the most. And I do get that because it doesn't like really snatch yourself in on the waist. But I really do feel like I'm in a film. I feel like we're going back to like old days where what you want and people wouldn't shout at you and scream at you and beat the whole money will go past you. Like I probably wouldn't feel the most comfortable wearing this in my hometown because everyone has an opinion that is just negative. But if I did go to another city and people don't know who I am, I probably would wear this and feel like an absolute rock star. So, a layered ruffled, um, is it three quarter? I'm not sure we're going to be good with, I don't really know what length this is. See the pattern here, it is like a floral blue and white um, skirt. Is it a mini skirt? I'm not sure. Is it three quarters or a mini skirt or I don't really know the length of the skirt. But with sandals... Oh, actually no, I didn't think sandals when I originally planned this. I think with like Converse, I would thought Converse first would look perfect with this. Cute, very innocent, and then you just finish it off with some Converse. You look like a skier girl, a surfer girl, a beach girl. You just look like you're living your best life. And that's what we're all going for at the moment. This is the outfit, I really, really like it. It's just... Looks effortless, but I mean, I mean, loads of thought wasn't put into it, but it just looks effortless, but really cute, and I just feel like this is just a great moment. I just, someone needs to whisk me off my feet and come dance with me. Do you know what I mean? Like, that kind of vibe. The positive wearing this, like, blue is a happy colour. I just feel really happy wearing this outfit, do you know what I mean? You probably don't. I really hate all of this outfit. Hopefully the majority of you watching this really love it. I have one more outfit to show you, and um, we're going more nighttime theme and the reason I've kept this one last because I wore this yesterday when I had my makeup and hair and things done and yeah I was more glammed up than what I look like now but um yeah this isn't as innocent as outfit so we're gonna finish off body style so guys this is the last outfit and this is definitely more nighttime appropriate I feel like obviously you can wear this in the day if you really want to not even if you really want to if you just want to wear a dress in the day like who's gonna tell you not to let's be real for me personally I'd probably wear this more nighttime more glammed up and things because this situation with messy bun, no makeup, kind of just thrown it on isn't rocking for me. However, if someone else tried it, it probably would look amazing. This pattern a lot trends at the moment on Instagram. I've seen Anastasia, I think was the first person I saw in this print, and I've seen other influencers also rocking this um, style and print of clothing. But yeah, I first saw Anastasia Kings North wearing this pattern and style. I think she was wearing a top, if I'm right saying that, on her Instagram, and I just thought, wow, that's really like, I love that. Turn things I was thinking but will that clash with me because I feel like you need like a strong kind of hair colour to wear colours like this because if you're in brown I feel like it's either like you've got dark brown hair or you've got blonde hair and I don't really know what my hair colour is so I was thinking this could go horribly wrong or I could really like this so anyway I do actually really like this I do like it I'm not sure if I like it on me but I just like it in general it dress so it literally zips all the way down um i mean you could choose to have the dress open a little bit at the top but i just prefer to have it fully zipped and i do like those tops where the zips also meet in the middle so i just wanted to try that out now, i might as well show you the whole dress together but the detail of the dress is very nice i really like this like chocolatey brown going on at the moment with a bit of white and obviously the black detailing i just feel like it's very like weird colors but I, it's just like a mood and a vibe i don't know why i really like it this is the full dress. I do really like it. I mean, at first I was thinking, will the material be a bit weird? And with it being a zip all the way down, 
Will it move the dress up a lot and will it like, create bumps? And although obviously when the dress moves, the belt does come a bit baggy and it can create a bit of bumps like that, um, it's easy to just adjust and ruffle it back down. Like with some dresses, when they rise up, you really have to pull them down. But it's such light material, it's just a case of it just moves with your movements. It's pretty much just like skin tight and it just does its own thing. It just adjusts to your shape, which I really like. I'd rather like a natural dress rather than markings where like your hip should be or like your bum should be placed like because I just think not everyone is the same do you know what I mean and they're a bit like strange some people are a bit like oh brown's a bit of a weird color but yeah I do agree like in general brown is a bit of a life I wouldn't choose it on an everyday basis it actually has surprised me how much I do like it in clothing because this is like the first piece of clothing I've tried with this color brown I feel like that was a kind of style we went for so like laced up heels I also wear like knee high boots because the dress is quite like short-ish like knee high boots would also go well because it would show less skin like a little bit between i picked up the color black mainly for the heels because i feel like if i went in brown it would be too much brown going on the beauty of dresses it's just one piece item you can just throw it on and it's as easy as that once you've got your makeup and hair done so we love that especially with this dress i did my hair and makeup yesterday and then i thought which outfit should i take a photo in and then I thought this, because this is the most easiest. I could just zip it up all the way from the bottom and it didn't interfere with my hair or makeup. So I was buzzing about that. They were all the pieces that I got from Pretty Little Thing. Outfits, the styles that I put together, which I personally will be going and wearing in the spring slash summer. Just entered spring, so it's a super exciting moment because summer is next. And we all, like us girls out here, we're all we're saying at the moment is hot girl summer. Got a bit of live our best life, especially after the past year we've all had. So I hope you took some inspiration from this video. I hope you have liked the outfits that I have shown. I personally have such enjoyment finding outfits and creating outfits and then trying them on seeing how they look even if it is a fail like just enjoy the process kind of thing if you do like any of these outfits or clothing items all of them are from pretty little thing i will try and list them all down below in the description box um, and obviously throughout this video I have talked about all the sizes and things but yeah hopefully you did enjoy this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because guys come on Guys, we are in 2021. It's all about spreading the love in 2021. Supporting each other, loving each other, hyping each other up. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Comment down below your favourite outfit. And yeah, happy spring. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.